Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for coming to Athens Open Mic. Hey, 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 we got something. Hey, okay. Hi, I'm Peter Velarde. I'm the president of Athens Open Mic. Next year, Blue Pencil Comedy, excuse me, it's, that's, the, the, that's the show. Can we get yeah. off the stage? Uh, you can stay on. It's fine. Whatever you want to do. Um, we are, uh, we wanted to give the seniors a proper send-off, uh, in tribute, uh, uh, so Emily, you want to come in? Yeah, Emily's back from her first sojourn. Oh, shit, one sec. Okay, thank you, camera three. Emily had beef with camera three before, but not no more. Flowers weren't in the budget, so I scavenged some. <laughs> <laughs> we scavenged flowers for each and every senior. Uh, so I'd like to call everyone to the stage uh, just to give them thank yous. Uh, first of all, this first uh, gentleman is not a senior. Uh, he is a junior technically, however, he's transferring out. We're going to miss him terribly. Um, one time I was at a party with him and we had a conversation about children's books for like 45 minutes and it was one of the most genuine conversations I've had in a long time and it meant a lot. So please give a warm welcome to a really warm guy, Matt Weaver, everybody. Oh, for those of you who are unaware, we drew people's faces terribly on these cards. It was a, it, it went mixed results. Let's go with the, the hashtag mixed results. There's your card, sir. Uh, this next comedian is a gem at both stand-up and improv. He'll be missed terribly. His Tom York impression had me rolling. Sam Francis, come on up, buddy. That's grass. Not grass, grass. It grows out the ground. It's a plant. <laughs> this next comedian is fantastic. Uh, she was uh, instrumental in bringing the women's show, uh, the women's comedy show, for the past couple years, uh, bringing that to the stage, and uh, we'll miss her terribly as well. Rachel Lewis, come on up. Romantic. This next comedian is, uh, is fantastic. She has a very interesting style, blending stand-up comedy and spoken word poetry. We're really going to miss that. She brought some really, really cool stuff to the stage. Uh, Erica Katz. Come on up, Erica. There you go. We also want to thank you for setting uh, tonight's period blood theme in motion. We do appreciate it. <laughs> Um, these next comedians are usually viewed as a trio, but to do that would be unfair. I think they're fantastic uh, individual comedians as well. Uh, this next comedian was, uh, they were, I, I met them when I was on uh, Friday's Live as a freshman, and uh, this particular comedian said one of the funniest things I've ever heard anyone say in a sketch, which was, why don't you bend over and read me the Iliad? Which I thought was hysterical. <laughs> Zane Tracy, come on up, buddy. I've been hugging people, that's a trend I should have started earlier. This next comedian is also very, very funny. Um, and again, you know, he's usually associated as a pack with, with, uh, with Zane as a package deal, as he was tonight, but he is a fantastic comedian on his own. His bit about horses freaking him out, or he's hysterical, and that was an inspiration for one of my early bits. Give it up for Seth Johnson, come on up, Seth. This next comedian is the most American. People, people say like, what, which one is he? And I'm like, he's the one who looks like Captain America with the mask off, but like handsomer somehow. <laughs> Don't be fooled though. He, he just like, I look at him and I want to punch the Soviet guy from Rocky three or four in the face. I don't remember which Rocky movie, but he's very American and he's a great guy. And I rapped with him on a song once and that was a lot of fun. Ryan Priestley, AKA the Whiskey Priest, come on up. This next comedian, another fantastic, a fantastically funny lady, also great in stand-up, improv, and the women's show. Uh, she's been a real inspiration. She was also on Friday's Live, uh, Hannah Tacoris. Hannah, I made sure these flowers were gluten for free just for you. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> this next comedian has been a mentor to me in almost every area of my life, music and comedy, and it's really gonna be tough to find the way without him. Um, I don't know a way to spin that funny, but he's a very funny guy, as you just saw, so come on back up, Brian. Brian Gavis. Thank you, buddy. And last, but absolutely not least, um, uh, she's been mentoring me uh, to be the president next year, and which was a decision I think was a huge, huge mistake, but also a great, great honor. Um, she is such a funny lady. It, like, uh, just as on the stage, she is going to be a tough act to follow. Jess Ensley, come on up. I think this senior class is gonna be especially difficult for me to say goodbye to because like I've been, you know, they're the year above us. I was a freshman when they were sophomores, so they were slightly ahead of where I was and they moved me to work hard and they inspired me and I got to grow alongside them and watch them grow. And now I don't, I mean, it's gonna be really hard without them and I'm gonna be calling most if not all of them all the time to know what to do because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. And so, so do most people I think, but you know, we're always gonna look back on this, this year of, com of comedians as a fantastic group of individuals and as a group, holy fuck, they're so funny. I love them. So give it up one more time for the senior class. That's about all I got. If anyone else wants to say some, say a few words, you're more than welcome. No? Cool. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for putting up with us, and thank you all so much for doing this. Um, what a great way to end a comedy!